head coach and probably a pretty happy one. <laughs> coach, start tell us. I don't even want to hear what you said after the game until you tell us what you said in the first quarter to media break. Oh, I mean, Midwestern was they were they were shooting lights out, and so. You know, we just needed to stay focused, continue to do what we do. I, I thought there were just little things we needed to clean up. They hit some tough shots. I mean, Francis King and – or uh, And Leonard. Yeah, Francis King. But I really thought just how she was playing, she hit some tough shots in that first quarter that, you know, if, if she's going to hit those all game, then they're probably going to win. But we were playing pretty good defense. There were little things we needed to clean up, and I thought we did that throughout the game. And then, you know, our press got better, got more effective. We started forcing some turnovers. But I thought our effort from start to finish was exactly how we needed to play, and I couldn't be more proud of our team. I asked them to do two things before the game to put us in great position to win, and it was be plus 10 on the boards and be plus 6 on the turnovers, and we crushed those two categories um, and really didn't turn the ball over until the fourth quarter. And so um, really proud of this team, We're proud of the effort. Uh, Deani Robinson played out of her mind today. Um, and I can go down the line, tack with her energy, her effort, how she boarded in the first half, nine boards at halftime. Um, you know, Juliana's been Juliana. She's been playing so well uh, for us this year. Desiree Colonel had another good game offensively. Um, Nine Wright rebounds too. Down. I mean, they they played um, they played playoff basketball, and, and they showed that we're ready for the postseason. And uh, I couldn't be more excited to, be, to bring this team into the, the conference tournament next week. Is there anybody in that locker room you might be happier for than Shania Wright? 16 points today for her. She hit four threes, and that's the first time in a while. <laughs> yeah, it, you, you know they're going to come. She, she's too good of a player. Though, that was going to come for her. Happy that, that Deani got her 500th career point today. Um, just a special kid, man. And, and I'm really just happy for the locker room because it's been a tough – it's been a tough stretch. When we were supposed to play 10 games this month, you have five games canceled in this COVID year because of weather. Um, mentally, it's been tough. It's been draining um, just to not be on the floor when, like how you want to be on the floor. And for them to respond the way that they responded today in the last game of the regular season for us and, and put up 110, I think that's a program record, they said. It is against a Division two opponent. It certainly is. And, and, and guess and, who you broke the record, the previous record, high was against who midwestern state 107 (laughs) points last january well i mean to put up 110 and um you know that's a really good midwestern team i I can't take anything away from what they've done this year um what what coach ray has done over there and how hard those players are playing but i thought our our players just played with a purpose today and um um, incredible to to be a part to be on the bench to to win how we went how we won today and to be down and I think we're down 12 at one point in the first quarter. That's incredible. Yes. Coach, talk about the turnovers a little bit more in depth. That was had become a little bit of a bugaboo uh, for the Lion women in, what, maybe their last half a dozen games. But, man, did y'all clean that no, up. Well, we, How did you do it? We talked about it. You can't go to the playoffs and, and have games where you turn the ball over 18 to 20 times. It's just you're not going to win games. And, and I told you before the game, we're too good of an offensive team that when we take care of the basketball, we're going to score it. And it, it's tough for, for people to keep pace with that. And, I mean, 70-something percent in the fourth quarter um, is, is special. It's special. I think we scored 60-plus in, in the second half. And, and, but I think this was the first time where the defense really was a spark for us. And we, we forced some turnovers today. Um, and just the energy that we were getting off the turnovers, off the deflections, um, it was it – was, uh, it's something that I think this team can continue to do. I think we, it may not be this score, but I think the effort, the energy, the attention, the detail that we had is something that, that we can continue to do. And so um, we're excited to find out who we play next week. Uh, we're excited to host the playoff game, and we're, we're locked into the top four. Um, and so it, it's nice to be able to host a Lone Star Conference tournament game here for the first time in a long time. Yes, indeed, sir. Y'all uh, moved up to number three today, by the way, when the uh, latest rankings came out. Lubbock, It'll Midwestern. change again next week, too. Uh, oh, oh, yes, they will, won't they? It will. Uh, and they won't tell us until the last minute. Doggone <laughs> it, we can never be a step ahead. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm about 90% sure we're locked into that number two seed now. Okay, now I asked you what you said during that – break in the first quarter what'd you tell them after the game i didn't tell them a whole lot they were celebrating and they should <laughs> <laughs> hey did you have to flash some moves in there did you have to? i don't know if i did or not there, there's probably a lot of video out there but i'm just i'm just happy man it's i wanted the girls to have fun today it's just been a year where there's not a lot of fun it's, it's you know we were able to have just you only played 13 games in the regular season and we're used to playing 28 you know that's that's not even half the amount of games and 
And uh, but 11 and two, and we beat some quality opponents, and and we we this win was a big win for us as far as just postseason implications, and and so they deserve to celebrate, and so I'm happy that 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 they got that opportunity to do that today. Coach, have you ever had a team that got a bench warning <laughs> for uh... – We got multiple bench warnings today. <laughs> and that's, but that's the, that's the thing about this team. I, I can't get mad that, that they're celebrating each other. And we've, I feel like I've said that every, every post-game interview is, is they genuinely love each other on this team and, it's, and in the locker room, and, and they're, they're going to celebrate. They're going to celebrate whoever's on the floor when they're doing well, when we're making plays. Our bench is going to get hype. And so – We'll take a bench warning today, um, and I hope that we continue to to have that just motivation, that that hard work, that teamwork, because that camaraderie. When you have gyms that aren't really full, that are that limited capacity or no capacity, somebody's got to bring the energy, and they that's something that our team has done all year. We've brought energy, and so they got to keep doing that. Outstanding stuff, Coach. Congratulations. That was a big one, and you you got yeah, all the the extra cookies that. <laughs> Come with a high-scoring, uh, record-setting affair and some players just having lights-out games. Yes, yes. Thank All you very much. You got it, and we will see you when we see. I think I got to go. <laughs> <laughs> see you, we'll see you next week some, sometime. Yes.